This is University of Lagos. We discovered that the very few students were within the campus. Campus shelters were also packed around the school premises and few shops were open. This means that there is no academic activity in the campus. So an alumni of the university and parents spoke to me. Before the festive period, since there is no hope of us calling all of the strikes, so, so many people, they have to go home because there is no certainty of calling it off. So what are you doing on campus? Nothing. I don't see anything within the school. It's very, very, very dry. Currently, I don't really see us calling of the strikes so because both the government and ASU committees, they're not actually reaching a bargain at all. I just, I just meant to start, sit down at home and, you know, Maybe after election or something. The government is shouting. We have social vices here and there. It is when they open the school that the student are coming to learn. So I don't foresee it at all. But the government should please, they should come. At least they should save the day, the money. They take their children to this private university because of the issue of there will be no strike. But if we balance it at both sides, okay, what about the children of the poor? The private university, they will be making their money. Then what happened to our own premier university here? When we put a call through to the chairman also, University of Lagos chapter, he said he was not in town. Nevertheless, the report which you know says the federal government has released 15.89 billion naira for shortfall in salaries of universities and also again set aside 20 billion naira for revitalization fund. Asu officials are yet to confirm this, but SCB News will bring you an update as the event unfolds. Mudukme, Shure Mekun.